All right, fellas, full disclosure, I've never been married. I've cohabitated, and during my time of cohabitation, not once, ever was I denied any kind of cut. Now, maybe it's different once you put the ring on it. I don't know. I wouldn't know. But I find this to be a pretty interesting back and forth between a husband and wife and as an outsider looking in. I, you know, I think that there's something to be uh, gained from this. So with that being said, yeah, she's attractive. She's very attractive. Also married, so we're not going to play the game with her. Let's get into it, guys. <laughs> Based on our marriage laws and uh-huh. the, the contract we signed with each other right. to have sex with anybody else. Right. So these urges that come, mm-hmm. I have to share them with the one person I decide to spend the rest of my life with. Right. So that, that brings me back to my, my, my soundbite. Okay. Right? I don't understand, and this is what we can discuss mm-hmm. as a woman, because I don't, I don't want to say it's a man versus woman thing, but a lot of women do complain, oh, my husband's always on me. Why is he always on me? Mm-hmm. If sex is going to be a chore for you that you don't really want to do, why do women constantly push monogamy on men? If you know... Okay, well, let me answer this for you, buddy, because she is trained to be selfish. We live in a world that has convinced women that they are the end-all, be-all, and she is very... um, What's the word? Like selfish yeah (laughs) it's mine he's mine they treat children not the exact same way because we're not talking about sex in that in that manner but it's about ownership it's about property it's about control and that's really what it is as a society we've you know raised we've been raised up to believe that we should just we we should follow her whims whatever it is she wants we need to be 100 percent on board with it and if we are not on board with it then you know what there's something wrong with us as men and that's could and, and biologically that's just it could nothing could be further from the truth but let's hear what his wife has to say you don't want to have to deal with him all the time just wanting you mm-hmm. <clears throat> Why do you push monogamy on that? Well, who's to say I pushed anything on anybody? Like, Well, we know that people, you pushed monogamy on me. I pushed monogamy. I forced you to get married to me? Tom out. I didn't say you forced me to get married, but you... Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing how he says one thing and she hears something completely different? I, I don't know. It's almost as if we have completely different brains, right? Did you not say to me that you wanted to be engaged and you wanted to be married before you lived with me? You didn't I, want, say that? I want a billion dollars. That don't mean I'm gonna get it. I can want. Wow, wow! This, like, like this is amazing. This is because she doesn't more than I don't know how I don't know these people by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know how long they've been married. But if you hear like, well, I could ask for anything in the world, but that doesn't mean and and I can guarantee that you know that was a part of the a part of her like thing she wanted a monogamous relationship with him and only him and something i don't get because once again i've cohabitated and i've and then during that cohabitation period i was never denied but at the same time i was always you know playing with it turning on getting on get, like making sure that she stay you know ready 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 for your boy and so thusly um i i, I don't understand how you how like you no know, she won't be into it because you know, like yo, you spent you you decided to live with me. You you knew what this was when you came in here, or I mean, you clearly didn't let her know what it would be when you when when she got in there. Like yo, look, I'm I'm trying to get down. I'm gonna do what I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna start to press press the ignition button often in order to get down. But you know, it is what it is. Not not, not everyone's me, I guess. Something, but not you, you right now you nobody, dodging the question. nobody pressed you to, to do it yes is that something i wanted yes it was but you didn't press me to, are you gonna lie now so to the people because we talking about sex Deval, you're gonna Deval, lie now to the people deval knowing Could you, you don't want monogamy of course i did so then why are you avoiding the question that's not avoiding the question i'm saying does that mean because i want it and i requested that that you were going to deliver it like nobody pressed you for that tell me you wow <laughs> but that's the thing in order for him to get you like i said in the beginning of the video um our society like you we live in a society where your whims are completely are are what's considered paramount they're not but it's what's considered paramount that's what you grew up on and so thusly if he if he was he didn't want to lose you you know, he clearly thought enough of you to be like, all right, he he wanted you enough to be willing to make those consignments. But now sitting here pretending as if you didn't want those consignments or there was a chance that he wouldn't. Come on, hard pass, sweetie. You just said you wanted it and requested it. Do you not hear yourself? I can make a request. Is the request going to be granted? 
am I that's not? Up am, to I, you, bro. am I not granting you monogamy? You are granting. Isn't that weird? She called her, her husband bro. Like, yeah, don't don't call me bro. So this is my question. This is my question. Always look at the, look at the, look at your boy. Look at your boy. This is my question. If you wanted monogamy, okay. Why would you want monogamy if monogamy if if sex is a chore for you? That's the question. You're avoiding the question. I'm not avoiding the question, but at first you said me, women or or in general me specifically are pushing monogamy on somebody. Okay, yes, that's something that I wanted, but I didn't press you for it and be like, "Devalma, hold a gun to your head to propose to me." Come out. Do also, women? also, okay. let me finish. Also, I don't feel like I was adequately prepared. For marriage. And I've said that before because if I knew that marriage and monogamy was going to involve me trying to meet you where you were at sexually for years to come, then I probably would have reevaluated if I wanted to be monogamous anyway. So that's. Wow. Uh, wow. Did, did you. <laughs> Y'all hear that? She's like, yo, look, man, if, if I knew you was going to be all over me like that, like, yo, like, I want. And, I just, I don't get, I've never been denied. And within the course of a serious relationship, I personally have never been denied. So I don't know what that's about. Like, bro, step your, your foreplay game up. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but we're not even, even talking about marriage. Let's even talk about dating, right? Okay. Two people are dating. Typically in society, who asks for exclusivity first, a woman or a man? I would say one. I'd like to think that that's kind of a, a, a draw for the most part, because as men, we definitely prefer to be the only one in them guts, man. Seriously, I, I don't know many dudes. Well, I, I'm sure there are plenty of guys I haven't run across them that enjoy sharing. What like we don't like to share. <laughs> like, men nor women like to share. Don't don't like to share. But as guys, you know, I mean, it is what it is. We got Eskimo brothers, by all means. But ladies, it it's far more. Um, it's far more. What's the name to you? Far more, um, you know, uh, uh, drilled into you that you are the prize, you are everything, and thusly, you know, you uh, deserve to be the only one, even though you're not interested, or you, or I, I'm gonna say I don't date those types of women, but apparently there are women who can, you know, not be foreplayed into wanting to get down and wanting to get intimate. It is a mood thing. I mean, seriously. Thank you. That was my whole point. So you were going all over the place. If women typically ask for exclusivity first, then when they get exclusivity, say he always on me, he always want to have sex. Why are we asking men for exclusivity if we do not want to participate in, se for, in sex at the same level as men? We have to think about what I, that does to a I man. That. And I don't think I genuinely believe, though, it's on you as a dude to keep her you know like ready to go for the most part i mean shoot the, it, it don't take much you know kiss on the back of the neck and baby girl tends to be like on point like yeah like she, like it because it because it, because of the the intimacy factor it's just more of a you know a mood thing and if we laying up we watching something she's getting a hair play with and stuff like that like these are the types of things that you know i i, I personally have done that i've kept her uh, you know on me i've i've been taken before you know like no not like this you know? <laughs> i don't care give it to me so like it, it, but maybe maybe once again it's a marriage thing and that's one of the reasons i really wanted to do this video because if it is a marriage thing fellas let me know down in the um down in the comments and like what like yo she was game for, for whatever whenever until i put the ring on the finger I, I hear that's a thing but that's just not my experience and i couldn't imagine with my male brain like you know once we're married that vibe that oh i love you i want to be intimate with you i want just just want to touch and kiss and, and, and be inside you type uh energy to wane at least from my part i mean we went hard for like seven years guys <laughs> me and old girl i'm talking about the only times we didn't get down down was uh it was like a two weeks that was the longest we didn't go to get down and that was because i was in colorado doing job training so i, I don't know man that that's being th that conversation is being had okay i agree and that part i agree with yes that women are typically the ones that will ask for the exclusivity i get that yes but what i'm saying is me as a woman 
I don't think that I was necessarily prepared or in the mindset to know that. It's almost like once you get into it, then you're like, oh, shoot, like this is what I'm going to have to keep up with. I get that. Us speaking as 36-year-old people know that now. Had I known that at 26, I, get that. I would have to contend with that. Once again, during that time frame, we were like, that, well, that, that was definitely me and like, I mean, this was older than me and my ex was when we were together. And it's just like, yeah, we, we getting down. You got to keep up. Uh, you got, you kind of, like, you do have a role to play playing this my guy like you kind of got to keep a wanting you you know shoot it is what it is I, but as far as marriage goes ugh, like, <laughs> oh my goodness guys i i actually want to get married i want a family i don't think i've ever been shy about that i don't think i've ever bullshit about that and i recognize you know the type of um the type of you know effort that needs to be put into such a thing but to see, to, to, to constantly hear this type of stuff, like, oh, yeah, well, you know, she just doesn't want us to have sex anymore and stuff like that. Like, I, like, I don't know, man. I really don't. And that's one of the reasons why the video exists, because if this is marriage, bro, like, we, we uh, like, uh, I, I don't know. I like to think that it would be different for me because I'm a different type of cat. But, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I can't tell you. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it, like this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub, and we jump a fantastic voice. You want to get videos like this every single day. Share, because sharing is caring, and YouTube and bitch you don't like are the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring, and check me out on Patreon, because, you know, links in the description. And speak, let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? You know, I I, I want kids in a family. You know, a wife and a, wife and kids have some fun. Enjoy en Enjoy each other's time. Enjoy each other's company and you know build build that family together as opposed to you know but I, so i don't know how these individuals ended up together i don't know if they have children i don't know you know the particulars of their situation but i, I genuinely feel like oh boy kind of dropping the ball a bit if she's the one that ain't really like beat for it like let me tell you something yo i i done tore old girl gut shut okay she was like, she's like, I'm so sore. I'm so sore. Oh, well, round two. I'm like, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. But that's just me. You may disagree. That's what a com that's what the comment section's for. And if you know anything about, uh, you know, it, like if, if you've seen this switch happen yourself, by all means, let me know in the comment section. And until the next one.